Good morning everybody, I want to welcome you back to Warden's Farm. It's 10.30 in the morning, it's 55 degrees, the bees are out flying like crazy. We're getting ready to get into the coal farm hives. We're going to check hive number one, I'll call it, the yellow box, and we're going to check to see how the queen's doing. We're probably going to put a deep on that one today and then move the food up. That way they can start getting ready for the queen that's in there. Hopefully she went out and got mated in the last week. If not, hopefully she will soon. Then we're gonna get into hive number two. Hive number three we got into yesterday when we leveled that hive out. But the last hive, hive number six, we're gonna get into as well. So I'm looking forward to getting into the bees. I know Jeff's waiting to see how his are going. They're flying like crazy right now. So let's go ahead and get into these bees. Okay, we're in hive number two in the coal farm hives. This one here's got a feeder board on it and we'll check and see it. It's probably about gone by now, I would imagine. This is another hive that I taped off due to the cold weather we had and I didn't want any cold temperatures getting into them. See what they've done with the candy board, if anything. Oh wow, there's still quite a bit left. More than I was thinking. Looking at the bees that are on the board, they look good. We'll smoke any of them that are underneath here down so we can push them down. So I can take the candy board off. Yeah, they got it stuck pretty good. Okay, the main cluster is right here in the middle on the shallow box here. This one had quite a bit of stores if I remember right. So let's see what they've been doing with it. They still got some on this side and sugar water. Look at the next one and the one after that. Sugar water and more sugar water. Dang. Got a little bit of brood up here. I don't see the queen on this frame. She may be on the next one though. And that's sugar water on this side, got some brood on mm -hmm. this side. smoke these babies down just a little bit I don't see anything on these outer frames so I'll take the second frame out got a little bit of stores not much anything on that frame These frames got pollen that they're packing away. A lot of yellow pollen. Let's see what this next frame's got to offer us. Okay, we got brood that's capped. We got larva. Let's see. Use my trusty flashlight and this dark stuff that's all pollen down here. It's all larva 
different stages mixed all the way to the outer edge so that's good on that side yeah we got eggs right here we got eggs on the outside yeah so the queen's still laying eggs so that's a good thing Look at the next frame. This will probably be another brood frame, I'm hoping. Which it is, there's our queen. That's unmarked, right there. So we're gonna mark her. So since we know she's on that frame, we're gonna mark her with the yellow pen. And this is our queen catcher. And what you do is this has a little slide for where you catch her. You put her in there and then you, you press up on her and you can mark her. So let's locate her again. There she is right there. I want her to get her off the brood. Okay, so she's right there. So we're gonna go very carefully. So we can make sure that she stays inside there. There she goes. We got a couple of worker bees with her. This way you can see she's right there. We're going to start pressing her up so we can get her thorax, which is the big black part. We're going to try to get these worker bees out of there. There's one. There comes the other one should come out soon. Well, we may just pin her down with it. All we got to do is get her in the right position. We're almost there. There. Now her thorax is pretty much pinned. I'll have to do it one more time because I had to get the pen ready. And again, you got to be really careful with doing this. So we got her thorax there. So we're gonna mark her in yellow. And now we're gonna pull it down. You can see she's marked. So now I'm gonna pull it down. And then this way, she can walk around. Okay, so we got our queen marked and back in the box. We went ahead, we got a pollen patty that we added in here. We're going to put this across the bees this way. This way they can get up onto it. We'll fold it in half. There's a gap underneath. They should be able to get it from both sides. We'll put the inner cover back on. And that's going to be it for the inspection on hive number two.